Hey, Jordan over here, the Wolf of Wall Street. Welcome to Sales School. JB here, the Wolf of Wall Street. Time for Sales School. Got a great topic for today. Ready for this? It's the difference between building rapport and how you use that to close a sale and wasting your time just talking about nonsense, trying to be chummy chum with someone and it actually backfiring on you. Here's the deal. The problem is, is that when you go about building rapport in the wrong way, it means that you're talking about things that are not germane to the actual conversation. For example, you walk into someone's office and you see a fish on the wall and you're like, oh my God, you love fish? I love fish. You spend 20 minutes talking about fly fishing in Montana somewhere as if somehow that is going to get you into rapport with them. And while it might create some sort of, oh, he's a nice guy who likes fishing, they'll probably know you're full of shit. But let's just say that you got away with it and you really did like fishing and the guy really bought into that whole notion. Oh, you just like me, right? Here's the problem. There's something else that sits on top of the straight line, meaning that when you take someone from the open to the close, right? This is your open, this is your close, right? So you must be in rapport. You must be in rapport in order to influence someone, to build certainty as you move them from the open to the close. That's what you're doing, you're building certainty, right? If you're not in rapport with them, then you can't influence. They're just not gonna listen to you. They're gonna kinda close up and they're gonna not trust you, so you have to be in rapport. However, there's something else on top, which is you must be perceived as an expert. If they don't think you're an expert in your field, that you're sharp, you're on the ball, what happens is they will try to take control of the sale. The prospect takes control. And once the prospect takes control, it's almost impossible to build certainty. So in other words, you have to build certainty. As you move from the open to the close, you are creating massive certainty for the product. They love the product. They trust you. They trust the company that stands behind the product. To do this, to build certainty, you have to be in rapport. But if you create that rapport in a way that sabotages your position as an expert, you can't create certainty. So both of these have to be in place at the same time. You can't just create rapport as if he's your friend or she's your friend. Rapport in the absence of you also reinforcing the fact that you're an expert in your field will backfire on you because then the sales starts to spiral out of control. They try to take control back from you and you can't accomplish anything. So the real way we build rapport, which is how we do it and be perceived as an expert at the same time, is we ask really smart questions using certain tonalities that show that we care about the prospect, that we understand them, we feel their pain, and then as they respond to our questions, we listen very attentively and very actively. We're like, uh-huh, mm-mm, ooh, yep, ah, uh, got it. And you show that you care, that you understand them, that you get them. It's those little unconscious grunts and groans that build true rapport with someone and simultaneously position you as an expert in your field. If you try to do this by just talking about a sport or something, a, a night out at a club, yeah, you might actually get the person to like you and think you're a good guy or a good girl, but they're going to say, well, this person's obviously not much of an expert because they're about to waste 20 minutes at a time talking about nonsense. So the way we build rapport is by asking smart questions and then listening very attentively as our prospect responds using those unconscious communication, those groans, mm, 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 aha, uh -huh, yep, got it, ah, and you show someone that you're with them, you get them, you feel their pain, and that you care. That's the secret to building rapport the right way.